get in here, I'm going to take a shit first thing. <laughs> Alright. You recording this? Yeah. That's what I gotta do first thing in the morning. Offload, good to go. Offload more up. What up? How you doing? Good. My brother Ben. How you doing? Yeah, nice to meet you. 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 Like oh. legit compete. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. 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 It's always a competition with you in here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Richard representing. What's up? You see the video of the day. What's up, Ben? You gonna give us? Yeah. You got this guy. These look like some small weights. You know this guy over here. Some Here's some stack. small weights. What's that? Small weights. Yeah. Old. <laughs> ben and Alan. Ben and, Alan, ben and Alan go way back. Yeah, yeah they got a good competition. Yeah, back when I was Alan's boss. Yeah. It's funny how you remember that. Little warm up back, getting the blood pumping. He's videoing me today. This is Greg. Oh, you video oh, He's videoing me. That's okay. why he's here. Okay. That's why he's here. It's he a one-time only thing. You ain't gonna see my ass here again. <laughs> hey, look. He don't, he don't <laughs> yeah, no, he don't. He don't. All right, what we got now? Uh, we got gumbo, uh, gumbo, uh, incline. We got a warm up. Hundred pound rep, only Chad can do it. One thing about Greg, when he's working out, he loses his juice. He forgets where he puts it. Like it's over there right now. You know what I'm saying? I'll be right over there. <laughs> he loses his juice. Let's go. All right, so a lot's happened since we left the gym. Basically, uh, we had one of our training assistants that wasn't able to do, uh, to uh, come in this morning for personal reasons, uh, no issue. So we had to call on another staff member to fill in that spot. And then uh, we had to get our tractor service this morning. So the servicemen came, took care of that. I had to get my kids up, had to fuel my body from that workout. And so a couple other things we have to do this morning to keep the day rolling. We got a very busy day today. We have to do some training with uh, some of the dogs here, get the training assistants on the right track to know what they're supposed to be doing with the dogs today. And then we got to roll out and do some distraction work, do a video shoot for some dogs, do a return, do a follow-up session, pick up some dog food, pick up a dog, and then roll back. So it's going to be a busy day. So let's get it going. Dog going home, gotta get all of her stuff ready to roll to go home. 
So, we're gonna get her a brand new leash. Because we have a drawer full of leashes. Every dog that goes home from training gets a brand spanking new leather leash. So usually it's pretty stiff, right? Pretty stiff. And so the owner is gonna have to break this in by working with their dog. So that's the first thing. And we also gotta make sure that all of her supplies that she came with, like blankets and any leftover food or anything like that, is gonna be uh, loaded up. Good. Okay, so she came with a leash collar, she's got her probiotics, and she's got her food. So all this is going to be loaded up in the truck and ready for her to go on the okay. right. uh, We got Buddy and Duke who are in training. Actually, we trained Buddy a while back. He went through our eight week program. Duke is going through our six week program, but for the last two weeks of his training, we brought Buddy in for boarding so they could work together because the reason why Duke is in training, Duke's a French Bulldog, the reason why Duke is in training is because he used to attack Buddy all the time. In the house, these two dogs could not be together. So what we're doing is we're incorporating them together. Nope, in training. And then uh, they're actually gonna be going home in a week and a half. So, you know, whenever I take them home, I'll be working with the owner on several scenarios uh, in the house to do together with these guys. So right now, they're focused in training. You nope, know, we're just doing everything together. So, you know, so as you can see, we're going to do a morning walk with them this morning. And then we're going to be working on some spot time with them together, joint spot time. And then uh, whenever I have to go to my other appointments, you know, Samantha's going to be focusing on uh, working together herself. So that's the beauty of the way we do things here. We got a whole team that's helping to accomplish the training, which actually makes the training better uh, when the dogs go home.